Welcome to Digitales, I'm Olivia and today we're going to be doing a review and an unboxing of a product sent to us by I think a company called e Ego, 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 <laughs> from Amazon. It's called Quack Quack. It's a uh, USB-C multi-hub and we're going to do a comparison with our hyperdrive which is a Kickstarter and see how they compare. <laughs> So the reason why I'm interested in looking at some uh, USB-C multi-hubs is because I've got the new MacBook Pro, as you guys might have seen in one of my previous videos, and at the moment I'm carrying around all of these things, wait, in this one, all of these things, <laughs> uh, just to be able to, you know, make it work and do stuff. So I've been using this hyperdrive, which was a Kickstarter. Um, this has been pretty good. I'll go back to that in a moment because I want to unbox this quack quack. <laughs> it's a brilliant name, I love it. Uh, so I'm gonna unbox the quack quack and see how it compares to the hyperdrive. Ooh, take off the sleeve. Oh, box is a bit stiff. I'm not strong enough! <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, I got it off. Yay! That was much harder than it should have been. Okay, so that's what the quack quack looks like inside in the box. Now let's try and get it out of the box. Is this going to be just as hard as taking the lid off? <laughs> Okay, so this is the Quack Quack. It actually looks quite smart and it's also in the same kind of space grey colour as well as my MacBook Pro, so I'm quite happy with that. Is there anything else in the box? Ooh, nice little case for it to go in. Okay, that's good. I like that. And a user manual, so we know what to do with it. Okay. Right, so we've unboxed the Quack Quack and now we just want to do a quick comparison to the hyperdrive uh, because the Quack Quack does actually have a couple of additional ports which I think probably will come in handy. So let's just look at the hyperdrive first of all. It is quite a bit actually a bit smaller I think in terms of size. Um, they weigh about the same, that wouldn't really make much of a difference. So these two uh, USB-C Thunderbolt um, connectors go into the Mac and that's how it connects. We have a HDMI um, port here. On this side, we have two um, USB-C Thunderbolt ports, so we can plug two things into that, uh, which basically makes up for these two using up space. On this side, we've also got two SD card reader slots, so we have one for a uh, standard SD card and one for a micro SD card. And then we also have two uh, USB 3 ports. And that's it for the hyperdrive. So for the Quack Quack, we have an additional couple of ports. First of all, it only has one uh, USB-C Thunderbolt connector here. Um, on, we'll start, there's ports everywhere. Okay, so we'll start on this side. So we've got one USB-C Thunderbolt port, which you can use. It also has an ethernet port, which the hyperdrive does not have. So that can be quite useful. On this side, we again, we've got two SD card slots. So one for an SD card and one for a micro SD card. And then on this side, we've got HDMI again, and we've got three USB 3 ports. So that's where it comes to the additional ones. We've got an extra USB 3 and we've got the ethernet port. Also worth mentioning, this is a gigabit ethernet port and the HDMI port does also support 4K at 30 Hertz. So just looking at things from a pricing perspective, if you were to buy all of these additional dongles, it would cost you approximately 130 pounds, which is quite a lot of money. And you'll definitely save some cash with either of these items, but they do differ in price. So the Hyperdrive uh, was around 63 pounds on Kickstarter and Quack Quack comes in at 69.99. I guess the question is, would you want to spend an additional £7 uh, to get the extra ports that you get with the Quack Quack? For me, I think the answer is probably yes. I actually think having this gigabit ethernet port is going to be really quite valuable. Um, I often find when I'm travelling around going to other people's offices with my work, 
that you often get there and that there isn't great Wi-Fi and that the only option is connect to an ethernet cable and this is definitely going to save the day from that perspective. Uh, it's also actually very useful to have an additional USB 3 port so I think it's definitely worth spending the extra seven pounds on a product that I think can offer you a bit more flexibility. So now I just want to talk about how each of the products look when pairing them actually up with the MacBook Pro. So this is my MacBook Pro and I've got the Quack Quack on this side and the Hyperdrive on this side. As you can see the Hyperdrive kind of attaches itself uh, right up against the, the side of the Mac. I have noticed uh, one slight issue with the Hyperdrive which is that you can actually only have it on this side of your MacBook because if you have it on this side where I've got the Quack Quack at the moment it would actually cover up where the headphone slot is which isn't obviously ideal. <laughs> so you can only have it on one side, whereas I think with the Quack Quack actually gives you a bit more flexibility because it's just one port and it can attach to either side of the Mac and you've got those options. So I'm just gonna play around plugging some cables into the USB-C multi-hubs to have a look at how easy it is to plug things in and out and you know walk around with it, that type of thing. So first of all, I've got just the power cable. I just wanna check that I can in fact charge my MacBook Pro uh, using the ports on both of the USB-C multi-hubs. So we'll just try the Quack Quack first. Yes, I can confirm, it charges. Cool. Now we'll try the hyperdrive. And that charges too. Okay, cool, that's good. Right, now I'm gonna try plugging in some cables and see how easy they are to actually pull in and out. Okie dokie. USB 3, let's try you first. Ooh, it is quite stiff. Okay, it's in the quack quack. It's good, and I'll pull it out. Okay, that was very easy. Let's try the hyperdrive. Okay, that all seems fine as well. Oh, and pull it out. Right, so that's fine. They seem pretty secure. I think one thing though I have mentioned, um, sorry, I have noticed even, is that when you're actually pulling the cables out of the Quack Quack, I think it's actually slightly easier because it's separate to the Mac. It has this give here. So you can just hold on to the Quack Quack and, and pull something out quite easily. Whereas with the uh, hyperdrive, because it is up against the Mac, it's actually, I'd be a little bit concerned about damaging my MacBook Pro. Also, if you're trying to pull this out without holding onto it very tightly, you could actually potentially just pull the entire hyperdrive out of the computer, which is gonna be very frustrating if you happen to have a maybe a hard drive plugged in and you're transferring some data, it's just gonna screw the whole process up. So I think actually you're probably a bit safer from that perspective using the Quack Quack. So some summary notes, um, I think overall the Quack Quack is probably a better product. Um, reason being, I think the hyperdrive looks smarter, definitely, uh, but the Quack Quack definitely has some better functionality. You get some additional ports, which I think are gonna be really useful. Uh, it also is less likely to damage your MacBook Pro with possibly some scratching. And it's also gonna be better when you're using multiple devices with the Quack Quack. Another thing worth mentioning is that the Quack Quack is available on Amazon Prime, uh, which is great, so you can get it tomorrow if you've got Prime. Uh, with Whereas the Hyperdrive, it was only available from what I could see on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. I have not yet seen this available on Amazon. Let us know in the comments what you guys have experienced with some USB-C multi-hubs. I'd love to know your thoughts as well on our video. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel by hitting this button over here, or you can watch some more of our videos like this one below.